Hello Scorpios, this is your mid-month for the 15th through the 31st. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. We're going to go with the Celtic Cross today. See what's going on for you guys. If you're interested in a personal, my website is down below. You can check that out, okay? Mm. The energy that's around you is temperance. Let's see what your challenge is. It is death. Maybe a Libra you guys are dealing with, okay? Um, because you came up in there reading quite strongly, okay? <clears throat> the issue is the chariot, all majors thus far. What was going on for you guys in the recent past? Hmm, the emperor. Hmm. Let's see what the best possible outcome is here. Five of Wands. What's coming in for you guys? Justice. Let's see how you view yourself. King of Wands. And your outside influence. It's the Eight of Swords. Hmm. What are your hopes? Four of Wands. Wow. Okay. Your fears. Hmm. Knight of Wands. And let's see what the overall outcome is for you guys. The world. Strong energies here. Um, I feel like this is a very positive reading overall just from the cards that um that are pulled but the energy that's surrounding you is temperance um it's pushing you to gain harmony in your life and with others balancing out your emotions with your actions and you know just taking accountability of of yourself and the things that you choose to do okay now what's challenging you is to make this change if you guys feel like you know you do have a lot of conflict with other people um, even within yourself is to really kind of you know get rid of those things that are not serving you here that's not bringing harmony into your life that is not influencing your life that harmony can come in you know um how you see yourself is the king of wands here or the father of fire i think that you you see yourself as being seasoned um knowledgeable maybe you feel like you do know all you need to know that you take action when you want to take action when you feel it's necessary Okay, now <clears throat> where you're coming from is the emperor from the past. Um, I think this is a very stubborn energy, maybe liking things your way. Um, it's either no way, it's your way or no way. Um, but this could also be the person that you are thinking about here. Fire energy, um, Aries, Leo, or Sag, okay? But somebody was very stubborn here, um, not really budging, not willing to go towards someone. So I feel like this is um, mostly you I'm getting because um, it's like you feel like you've kind of done everything that you can do. You've taken enough action. So, you know, you just kind of took your hands off of it and it's like, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. Almost like being in the hangman mode you know but just feeling very fiery about it like you know um you know just standing your ground with that now <clears throat> the issue is this is not really what's bringing you success this mindset um there is a need for you to really take into account what is actually going to make you happy what is actually going to benefit you and then go towards that so I think that um, you're kind of realizing that maybe things aren't as good or as calm as you would like for them to be. Maybe things are not going your way. And so now you're just kind of rethinking things, maybe, 
here but um, in the near future or in the best possible outcome rather you will figure your way out of this right now I think you you almost feel like this card like you're crashing and burning here um, maybe like you can't come back from this but I think that you will um, figure it out before you actually you know make contact with somewhere that you cannot come back from okay so I do feel like that I feel like you guys will get this figured out because your challenge here is to change whatever is not bringing you this harmony if being stubborn here not budging is not benefiting you there's a need for you to change that okay now what's coming towards you is justice is justice um, is making things right making things right in the world making things right with the people adjusting yourself adjusting the way you think um, maybe a, a certain way of thinking is not serving you is not serving your higher good is not getting you what it is that you want and not what you deserve doing what you feel is right from here on out okay doing what you feel is right from here on out regarding others now your outside influence is the eight of interference which is the eight of swords so there is somebody coming in or somebody exterior to you that is causing you to rethink is causing is getting in the way of the things that you stood by so solidly here this person is causing you to to rethink some things okay it's kind of throwing a monkey wrench in some of the things um, that you thought before that you believed before maybe an air sign here um, Gemini Libra Aquarius again I feel like a lot of you are probably dealing with a Libra um, but then for others of you it's like a Cancer energy um, Sagittarius Aries even um, maybe another Scorpio like yourself but um, yeah so in your hopes you want stability you want perfection you want what is due to you okay you want for all things to be right in your life whether it's your job whether it's your love life you just want serenity is what I'm getting here you want serenity but you also want you know like this spice you want everything to be the way that it's supposed to be the way that you think it's supposed to be for you what's suitable for you you want stability okay now your fear <clears throat> is that you won't be able to have that that that's you know this that's not going to be offered to you that somebody is not going to be interested okay fire energy again here yeah let's see what your overall outcome is the world or the universe I think that um, you guys have you know completed something here with with this air sign okay or you will wrap it up you will wrap it up you will have learned something something very significant here in this situation that you are currently involved in um, but you're going to wrap up this cycle but you're also entering into a new one starting over new new karmic cycle okay now it's up to you it's up to you with justice here how the new cycle begins for you how it plays out for you okay it all depends on what you choose to do here with justice coming in for you guys okay you have two endings here 
but with these endings are also new beginnings so this is a strong choice that you have to make for yourself for your higher good what is it that you truly want to come into your life that will come into fruition for you my scorpios okay so that is what i have for you guys and i will speak with you soon